before even time began. We are Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine Word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine Word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit, in love and service. May we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them, most of all. For us, we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass and for those prayer requests place the Shrine's Facebook page. For the Thanksgiving of Jers Kim Jayan Castro, Bundogo Punsalan Punanan Castro Family, Alliance Synergia Incorporation, Hook Dukusin Incorporation, PCE Corporation, Joseph Patrick Flores and Family, Bernadette Flores and Family, Pamela Abrina and Family, Sonny Acosta, Gloria Daniel Maricel de la Cruz, Judy de la Cruz, Evangelista Family, Joey and Chrissy Camacho, Armida Cortesano Dorado, Garcia Mercado Rojas and Florin Families, Paule Chua Family, Manuel Ong, Beans Family, Richard Spexon, Nelson and Divine Gray. For the special intention of Erwin Tulfo, Isabel Nam, Gloria Daniel de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Judith de la Cruz, John Coronel and Family, Tony Evangelista and Family, Bong Evangelista and Family, Milagros Coronel and Family, De Coronel and Family, Emil Coronel and Family, Hermi Admana and Family, Tom Coronel and Family, Father Dan Coronel, AP Gevora Builders, Aliazan Synergia, Duxin Incorporation, PCE Corporation, Chedoro Sambrana, Father June Barques, Enrico Barques, Kati Bukau Garcia, Edwin Apilo Suarez, Arto Chico, Josephine Ala Enriquez, Havana Hill, Hunter Hangelo, and Sniper Sage Ala Tabuso, Jocelyn Ala Tabuso, Leonardo Tabuso, Nadia Asmari, Malinao Rafols Family, Anthony Martinez, June. And for the healing of Anesita Huerta, Nimpa Pescador, Joe Gigiting, Jerry Martinez, Jared Indanong, Gloria Daniel Maricel Judith De La Cruz, Damaso Sabrana, Ray Egua, Josefina Cabrera, Courtney Masi Villarba, Maria Rosa Cura, Mary Kirsten Morales, Jean Vince and Pinky Razon, Shane Kyle Martin, Joselyn Ala Tabuso, Purita Estrada Ala, Erika Mara Cotivar Gayundato, Anthony Martinez, Jun Senar. For the souls of Remigildo, Juliarita, relatives and friends of Garcia, Mercado, Rojas, and Florin families, Valerio, Mark, Antolin, Chua, Adria, Arcelia, Honesto, Romeo, Helen, 
Loreto, Teresita, Dolores, Consordia, Efren, Domingo, Perpetua, Baby Lucas, Adela, Guillermo, Antonio, Mila, Ernesto, Mercedita, Romel, Eufemio, Julia, Eufresita, Maria, Violeta, Florencio, Teresita, Romeo, Juanita, Nang Chai, Aaron, Wetam, Tukoy, Jaime, Steven, Servilano, Lerma, Alfredo, Lito, de la, Lito Arturo, Jose, Danilo, Edo Voges, Andres, Man, Manolito, Mariano, Herman, Eusebio, Gabi, Amanda. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the Friday of the second week in Advent. The Church celebrates today the memorial of St. Damasus the First Pope. Our Mass Presider today is Reverend Father Eli Mata, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you who are celebrating your faith from the safety and comfort of your homes, whether here or abroad, grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We have come to celebrate our faith in thanksgiving for what the Lord Jesus has done for us by revealing to us that God is love through his suffering, death, and rising from the dead. Nevertheless, we acknowledge our unworthiness. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may constantly exalt the merits of your martyrs, whom Pope St. Dam Damasus so venerated and loved. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains, their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Reading from the Holy Gospel of the Lord Jesus according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another, We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. In order to appreciate what we are doing, celebrating our, fi our faith in this Eucharist, and we have just listened to the Word of God. The context in order to appreciate this, this, this what we are doing is our life. Life is a journey. Our life is a journey. And for us Christian Catholics, our journey ends where Jesus says, in my father's house. Before, he, before his passion and death, he assures his disciples, his apostles, do not let your hearts be troubled. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. And I will be going there to prepare a place for you, so that when everything is prepared, I will return and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. That's the end of our journey. 
But in this journey, which we are now on the 11th day of the 12th month of the year, how many months have we journeyed? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Now we are in December. Slowly and little by little, we continue with our journey. But in this year, our journey is quite different because of the pandemic. That pandemic has made us fearful. Fearful because it is based on, I don't know. I don't know what will happen to me, what will happen to my family. I don't know what will happen to everybody. I don't know. And because I don't know, I am fearful. Natatakot ako dahil wala akong kaalam-alam. And in this journey also, we kind of, while looking forward to a Christmas break, some would not be able to do so. Disappointed, sad. But the celebration of the Advent season reminds us that there is Christmas. Otherwise, what are we celebrating in Advent if there is no Christmas? Advent reminds us that Jesus' coming and we are celebrating His first coming in spite of the dangers and the risks that we are confront, confronting in this journey. But on the other hand, there are also signs of hope in this journey. That giant pharmaceuticals are now announcing because they are coming out with the vaccine. In the United, in the United Kingdom, the first patient has, been, has received the vaccine, an old lady. And in our country now, specifically the mayor of Quezon City is already speaking about the how and for whom will be the distribution of the vaccine. So little by little, little by little, we are being asked to be patient, to, be, to persevere, because actually hope is coming in form of a vaccine but also, and most especially because of our faith, Christmas is coming. And also another source of hope is what the ABS-CBN has come out with its identification for Christmas. Ikaw ang liwanag, ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya. Tayong lahat ay liwanag at ligaya. So that should booster up our spirits because we are being addressed as the source of light and joy. So this is the context of our journey today. On the 11th day of the 12th month of the year. So in this journey we find fellow travelers like the prophet Isaiah in the first readings, like St. Matthew in his early Christian community in the gospel. And we are also accompanied in our travel today by Saint Damasus the first. So let, let, uh, let, us, let us allow them to speak to us, to encourage us. From the first reading, the prophet Isaiah reminds the people of God of their relationship with God based on the covenants. And here, the prophet Isaiah promises again to the people of Israel, if you are faithful to the covenants, you will experience prosperity. You will be like a river that overflows. Those are images, but what the prophet is saying is that your faithfulness to the relationship with God will have its reward and recompense. In the Gospel today, St. Matthew speaks about the difficulty of following, let us say, a religion. Let's following following a faith. Because here, St. Matthew, perhaps seeing and observing the reaction of the early Christian community with regards to Jesus, with regards to their mission activity, he compares it making Jesus speak to children. 
And Jesus speaks about children who are telling one another, Hoy, tumutugtog kami para sa patay, hindi naman kayo umiiyak. Tumutugtog naman kami para sa fiesta, hindi, kami, hindi naman kayo natutuwa. And he, he comes down to speak about St. John the Baptist. St. John the Baptist comes and he was very austere, very humble, and you say, he's possessed by demons. And then the Son of Man comes, and you say, lasinggero. At kung sino-sino ang, ang kinakasama, ang kahalubilo. So, this brings us precisely to the idea, how about us? How do we look at our Christian religion? Some would look at the Christian religion as a, from the, from the perspective of strict observance, observance of the law. Others would like to celebrate their Christian faith from the perspective of Jesus. Jesus, who had suffered and died and rose again, and therefore is the cause of our joy. So Christian actually must be joyful for what the Lord has done. So here, St. Matthew is telling us today, focus on Jesus. Focus on what Jesus did for you. If Jesus in his suffering and dying and rising from the dead expresses the love of God for you, edi tumbasan mong pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal sa Kanya at sa kapwa. Say, uh, the prophet Isaiah reminds us that our relationship with Jesus, our relationship with God, has its recompense. Has its recompense. Then finally, St. Damasus I is remembered among many other things. First of all, because if we are venerating the saints nowadays, nowadays, we owe it to him because he established the cult to the saints, especially during his time to the martyrs. Then he is also known for introducing this should, this should um, encourage the students of Latin, he introduced the Latin language in the liturgy of the Mass. And from then on, 300-something to 1975, Latin had been the language of the Church, especially in the celebration of the liturgy. And he is also remembered because during that time, St. Jerome was composing the Latin Bible and St. Um, Damasus I encouraged him. And during his administration, it was St. Damasus I who practically compiled what we know now as the Bible. So we owe a lot of him. And in our journey, he's also telling us, in spite of the difficulties of your journey, look at me. There are so many things in life that we have to do. If you have... If you have sick relatives at home, take care of them. If you have children who have difficulties with their online learning, teach them. Don't forget about yourself. Be careful when you go out. Don't assume that, that just because the vaccines, are, uh, the vaccines are coming that you can already do what you want to do. No. Think of the others as well. Don't just think of yourself. Think of others. How would you how would you affect them with regards to the health? So here we have lots of things to do actually. And those who are traveling with us in this journey today on the 11th day of the 12th month of the year, they are telling us the main focus is Jesus. And finally, last December 8th, uh, the Holy Father Francis had established between 8th of December 2020 until 8th of December 2021, it is the year of St. Joseph. It would be good if before you come to the Mass quite early, have some time to talk with St. Joseph. Spend some time with the one who looked after the Blessed Mother and her son Jesus and who has been declared the guardian and patron of the church. 
And finally, this year, we will honor him until 8th of December 2020. So, let what we have reflected on, let what our celebration is all about, be a source of strength and hope for us as we continue in our journey. In faith, we now make our petitions to the Father, whose concern is that all people accept His invitation to the banquet of eternal life in heaven, as we say, Lord, draw us to You. Lord, draw us to You. That the church on earth may continue to grow and draw more people to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to You that the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord draw, draw us to you. That we may respond to the call of repentance with sincerity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord draw, draw us to you. That all of us may be committed to the cause of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord draw, draw us, us to you. you. That the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. Let's pray in silence for our own intentions. In this silence, we now present our personal prayers and intentions, including the intentions that are being offered in the celebration of the Mass today. We pray for those whom we have promised to remember before the Lord, and we also pray for those who have ask us to remember them in our moments with the Lord. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. This be God, God forever. Pray that this offering today may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed Damasus I a means to our eternal salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it's right God. and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Damasus I, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Holy Father, and Unest, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, the deceased and the beloved departed, who are commended to our prayers, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Damasus I, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> of the world and people of goodwill into the prayer that the Lord himself taught us and let us lift them all up to the Father singing. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us begin this day by giving each other a sign of peace. With you. Lamb of God, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the body of the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. And... 
Happy are you. The Lord invites you to his table. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you that should, you should enter, enter under my roof. But, but only, only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Up of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
We rise to pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed Damasus I burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection, protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed, disturbed and even claimed lives. lives. We, we pray that you guide the people task us to find, to find cures for this disease, disease and, and to stem its transmission. transmission. Protect, protect the, the medical, medical experts, experts that they, that they may minister to, to the sick, sick with competence and, and compassion. We, we pray for those afflicted. afflicted. May, may they be restored, restored to health soon. Protect those, those who care for them. them. Grant eternal, eternal rest to those who have died. died. Give us the grace in this trying time, time to work, work for the good, good of all and, and to help those in need. need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, a Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities. But, but deliver, deliver us, us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinademitz, pray for us. Saint Damasus the First, pray for us. We also pray for those who will find us in Latin and ask St. Damas I to help us, to inspire us. St. Damas I, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we commend into the hands of the Blessed Virgin Mary all the tasks that await us today. And on the part of the seminarians, their efforts to study for the finals during these days. And for the, those who are sick and looking after them, we say, we sing, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with Joseph, pray for us. Now go announce the good news. Thanks be to God.
the Holy Triune God live in our hearts. Saints Arnold and Joseph, Saint Pope Damasus the First, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.